Hello everyone back again at Optimal Movies, the film begins by showing the health emergency and riots caused by a vaccine that had only been given to the public for a month, and the vaccine apparently caused the emergence of a new variant of the virus which caused humans to become zombies. And there a reporter was asking Dr. Campbell about the virus that had just spread, but at that time Dr. Campbell didn't give an answer, and Dr. Campbell only reminded his son, Jesse, to go to a safer place until this virus problem could be resolved. Meanwhile in a different place, Jesse was having an accident, and after that the film was reversed to 12 hours earlier. At that time, Jesse and his friends were in the forest camping and enjoying their night. The next day Jesse and his girlfriend had just woken up, and at that time they heard screams from their friend, and at that time they came out of their tent to see what was happening. And when he looked, Jesse's friend Sarah was being bitten by his girlfriend who had become a zombie, and Jess's girlfriend at that time also immediately helped Sarah, but unfortunately Jess's girlfriend at that time was also bitten by the zombie. And Jesse took the courage to hit the zombie until it fainted. And after that, Jesse then took Sarah away from that place. And on the way, Jesse stopped at a supermarket to look for help, but there was no one in the supermarket, and there Jesse also tried to call but the telephone cable had been torn off. When outside, Jesse saw a police car passing by, but Jesse was trying to ask the police to stop, the police didn't pay attention to Jesse and then just walked away. Meanwhile, in front of the supermarket door, a zombie was seen that had just come out, and Sarah, who saw the zombie, called Jesse to get into the car, and after that they continued their journey to look for help. And while on the way, Jesse's car tire suddenly burst, causing the car to roll over. And there Jesse woke up from his fainting state, and saw that outside his car there were already zombies, and also Sarah who had become a zombie. Seeing that Sarah had become a zombie, Jesse then finished off Sarah and after that Jesse got out of his car, and when he was outside, Jesse was also attacked by a zombie that was outside his car, and then Jesse managed to finish off the zombie. Jesse then ran to look for help, and on the way Jesse saw a small child, and when Jesse called the child, it turned out that the child had become a zombie. Jesse then ran and there Jesse saw a house which at that time seemed to be uninhabited, and when Jesse entered the house, Hesse slipped and suddenly zombies came and then attacked Jesse. Jesse saw the hammer nearby, Jesse immediately finished off the zombie using the hammer. And a few moments later, a woman named Emma came out of the room, and Emma hid in the room all night until she waited for the zombies in the house to leave. And there Emma said she came to this house to pick up her sister, but she didn't see her sister in this house. Hearing what Emma said, Jesse then said that Emma was the first person he had met in a normal state, whereas everyone else looked like a zombie. And Emma then asked Jesse to go to a restaurant and there was a group of people who were still normal. And before they left, Emma asked Jesse to take a shower and clean the blood that was stuck to his body first. And after Jesse cleaned his body, Jesse saw zombie bite marks on his waist, and not long after, Emma also saw zombie bite marks on Jesse's waist. And at that time, Emma was surprised because Jesse didn't become a zombie after getting the bite. And Jesse also said that he had the antibody gene, and that his mother often gave him injections when he was little. After hearing Jess's explanation, they then went to the restaurant to meet the group who were still hanging in there. But before they left, Emma said to keep it a secret zombie bite marks on everyone there. And when they were not far from the restaurant, they saw the zombies gathering, and at that moment Emma decided they should immediately run towards the back door of the restaurant. However, there was also a group of zombies there, and at that time Emma distracted the zombies there by throwing bottles in a direction far from the restaurant door, and after that they ran to enter the restaurant. And while inside, a man who owned the restaurant named Roy asked while pointing his gun at Jesse, and at that time Roy asked who Emma had brought into the restaurant, and at that time Emma answered that Jesse was the person who had saved her life. 
Hearing what Emma said, Roy then invited Jesse to come in and join the restaurant. And while inside, they saw a news broadcast which informed them that the zombie virus that was occurring was caused by the C-100 flu vaccine, and now the vaccine had been used to inoculate millions of people, and automatically people who had injected the vaccine into their bodies would become zombies. And fortunately those in the restaurant did not use the C-100 flu vaccine. After they saw the broadcast, suddenly the electricity in the restaurant went out, and Roy then went with Brandon and Jesse to install a generator so that the restaurant's electricity would be on. And just after Roy had turned on the generator, suddenly a female zombie attacked Roy, and Brandon then shot the zombie, but unfortunately Roy did not survive the zombie attack. The next day, Jesse and several other people decided to leave the restaurant, and on the way, Emma met her sister who she was looking for, and there, Emma asked what had happened to her sister, but Emma's sister did not answer Emma's question. And he then got into the car and locked the car door, and it turned out that in the car there was already his child who had become a zombie, and immediately Emma's sister was bitten to death by her child who had become a zombie. When they were about to leave, Emma decided not to go with them, and Emma allowed herself to be bitten by the zombies there. A few moments later, they decided to stop at the supermarket and get food, Brandon was going in to get the food, meanwhile Jesse, Mark and Mark's sister, Grace, were waiting in the car. And a few moments later, they heard gunshots coming from inside the supermarket, and it turned out that Brandon was attacked by zombies in the supermarket. Jesse and Mark went into the supermarket to save Brandon, but inside Brandon had already been bitten by a zombie, and Brandon told them to leave the supermarket immediately. While on the way, Mark decided that they should go to Uncle Mark's house which was not far from there but unfortunately a few moments later their car broke down and they decided to walk to Uncle Mark's house. And while on the way they saw a crowd of zombies eating together, and they decided to look for another way. But unfortunately the road they were on also had zombies, and they were immediately chased by the zombies there. Jesse and Grace got into the truck, and meanwhile Mark outwitted the zombies there by running into the cornfield. Meanwhile, seeing that the zombies there were no longer there, Jesse and Grace got out of the truck and while they were running, a man named Ben Clayton saved them from being chased by the zombies, and Ben immediately took them into the warehouse that was there. Meanwhile, Mark is seen still being chased by zombies, so Mark gets into the car to take cover from the zombies. Inside, Mark tried to start the car and when Mark tried, the car started, but the car's tires couldn't run because they were stuck in a hole. Meanwhile, in the warehouse, Grace notices something strange in the warehouse but Grace doesn't tell Jesse. At that time, Mark tried to start the car and a few moments later Mark managed to start the car because the zombie helped him by shaking the car. And from a distance, three people were seen shooting at Mark and at that time they were hit by gunfire from the three people. At the warehouse, Ben shows who he really is and Ben turns out to be a bad person who wants to control Uncle Mark's plantation and the three people who shot Mark are Ben's friends. And there Ben took out an explosive device which he had connected to the car used by Mark and at that time Ben asked Jesse to press the explosive button but at that time Jesse refused. Hearing Hesse reject his words, Ben immediately took out his gun so that Hesse was forced to press the button which caused Mark's car to explode. And because of the shock that came from Ben's tools, Ben fell so that Jesse and Grace had the opportunity to escape from the warehouse and outside the warehouse there was already Mark who picked them up to leave the warehouse. That night, Mark, who had lost blood from his chest, was shot, and at that time Mark told Jesse to look after Grace, and a few moments later Mark died from the gunshot wound. The next day Jesse and Grace continued their journey on foot, and at that time they saw a herd of zombies about to attack them, and from a distance a man named Hickok45, who is a YouTuber with shooting content, helped Hesse to finish off the zombies there. Those monsters are in there! Get behind me! And after that, Hickok45 took Jesse and Grace to his house, 
and while there Jesse was taught how to shoot properly by Hickok 45 with zombies as targets. After they practiced, Hickok 45 took Jesse to his neighbor's house to lend him a car so he could continue his journey. And after that, Jesse picked up Grace who was resting on the terrace of Hickok 45's house, and at that time they saw the wound on Grace's leg, and Hickok 45 said that Grace had been infected with the zombie virus. And at that time Hickok 45 advised Jesse to leave Grace, because Grace would soon turn into a zombie. However, at that time, Jesse rejected Hickok 45's suggestion because Jesse had promised Mark to look after Grace. And a few moments later, Jesse continued his journey, still carrying Grace, but on the way, Jesse saw that Grace had turned into a zombie, and at that time Jesse, full of regret, had to shoot Grace who had become a zombie. <laughs> a few hours later Jesse went to Atlanta, and there Jesse came to a building, where in the building there was a woman named Tori, and there Jesse and Tori fought the zombies with their guns. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Who the hell are you? And a few moments later, Tori took Jesse into the building, and in the building Tori showed a video of Jess's mother, namely Dr. Campbell, and in the video, Dr. Campbell said that the virus that was happening was his fault and that Dr. Campbell had destroyed the remaining vaccine. Dr. Campbell said he had kept a sample of the original virus, and had given it to Tori, and the virus would be used to examine it with the antibodies that Jesse had in order to stop the zombie outbreak that was occurring. And after seeing the video, Jesse and Tori went to the lab in Washington, D.C. And at the end of the film it is explained that an anti-zombie vaccine has been found, and the government is distributing the vaccine throughout the world using a secret weapon that was previously used to manipulate rain and is now being used to distribute the vaccine throughout the world, and the film ends. And thank you for watching this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to this channel, see you in the next video.